Welcome everyone, make yourself comfortable, for the next couple of minutes we will embark on a journey to the core. Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to look at PIT's mutation testing. As always, the first thing we are going to do is to introduce PIT into the project. First we define these two properties, and PIT is not a dependency for the project but a plugin for Maven. So we have the plugin configuration in the build section. And by default PIT will mutate everything in our code but we can declare specific classes or even packages with the help of globs or white cards. Similarly, we can determine what tests to use for the mutations. We can also provide other configurations like the number of threads to use for parallel testing and what kind of mutations to introduce into our code. Here we are going to use the defaults group. In the PID web page, we can visualize all the groups as well as all the mutators that are available. Finally, we have to introduce a dependency for this plugin in order for it to work with JUnit5. Now let's run the test as well as the mutations. Verify for the test, and this is the goal for the mutations. Here we can see all the mutators that introduce mutations into our code, as well as stats like how much time it took for all the mutations to run, and how many mutations we killed. Now let's see the report. Here we can see the whole class and the coverage for each and every line. Light green is for code coverage. Dark green is for mutation coverage. And here we can see the mutations. Light red for lack of line coverage and dark red for lack of mutation coverage aka at least one mutation wasn't killed in those lines. Now let's start with covering the getCount method. Here we introduce a new test in order to exercise that specific method. Now let's rerun the test as well as the mutations and we can visualize that the number of mutation kill has raised. Let's see the report again. Now let's kill this mutation in the set count method. In order to do this, we are going to introduce another test. This time we are going to verify that when we set the amount of a product to a valid value, no exception is thrown. Here we can see that we effectively have killed another mutation. Success! We have killed another mutation. Now let's cover the remove island method. It lacks cold coverage and there is a mutation in it that we are not killing. For that one, we introduce this new test. We will run the test as well as the mutations. And yes! We killed that one as well. Let's see the report. In the remove item method, there is a mutation that is surviving. We will talk about that one later. Let's move to the include count method. The first one is no code coverage, and the second one has some branches that are not covered. We are going to introduce these two new tests. With the 94% of mutation kill, we are getting closer to a better cover code. As you can see, we are covering everything in the second increase count method, but the first one hasn't been covered yet. We can create a new test method, but we can do something even clever. If we modify slightly the first test, we can cover both methods perfectly. Let's see that. The mutation kill hasn't changed. But if we see the report, we can see both methods has been covered successfully. And finally, but not least, let's move into the decrease count methods. As we did for increase count, 
we are creating two similar methods. But since the decrease count method has several branches that the increase count method hasn't, we have to introduce two more tests in order to cover the rest of the branches. Like this one and this one. The mutation hill are the same, but if we go to the report and I want to show you the overview, the line coverage is better. And everything but this one is covered. Now, I want to talk about this one. We cannot reach these lines through inventory nor shopping cart because this line makes it impossible to reach those that are not covered yet. I want you to think about how we can test that in order to those line to be covered. Now your turn. Download the code for the link at the description and mutate it. Remember to share your experience in the comments and as always, have fun. Thank you for joining me on my journey to the code. See you soon.